Alrighty, what well, morning everybody and cast time once again and let me go ahead and intro this real quick um, This is gonna be Kurt's soundtrack uh, dead time. So um, This is a channel that I'm pretty sure anyone who's uh, watched any of my cast videos is probably familiar with Iron Cthulhu Apocalypse So looks like they came out with another So yeah, I'll just go with this. Uh, let me go ahead and um, Rewind that back and then um, I do want to say too that uh, there might be some technical problems with this. Um, I just noticed when I uh, when I was putting this cast together, some of the uh, images and or some of the gifs on here were freezing and stuff like that. So, so yeah, I just I'll if I see it, I'll try to correct it. So. Checking the checking the sound right now. For the moment, I'll just leave it the way it is. Um, it's a pretty, it's some pretty quiet music. I listened to part of this earlier, so it's fairly quiet. So I'll just, I'll leave the, I'll, I'll leave the volume as is. There's gonna be some quiet ones, or there's gonna be some quiet parts in this. So, but, anyway, um, very rough week at work this time. Uh, but they. By the end of the week, my lower back was just howling. Like even um, even all the ibuprofen I was taking, it wasn't really helping much. Even went off of work, um, it really wasn't helping that much either. And I think it was it was impacting my sleep as well. So I it, I would I would wake up not. I guess hurt to the point where it was where it was burning, like you know it was just. Felt like, felt like my lower back was on fire. So, I mean, sometimes it even hurt to sit down. So, yeah. I, and then on, on top of that, I think mean, Friday, uh, my feet were getting pretty well fucked up as well. Like, uh, around the arches. The arches of my feet just from all the, uh, all the walking around I was doing. But, um, it... And then for some weird reason... Normally this doesn't happen, but my left arm was starting to hurt a bit, and it was starting to feel numb at times as well. Kind of wondering where that came from. But I it should probably also be mentioned too that uh, at my store, um, we're approaching inventory, and um, and this isn't just something exclusive to Walmart. Every other grocery store I've worked at does this why I have no fucking idea but whatever inventory approaches you know where you have to go in your back your stock room you have to count all the you have to count up all the stuff you have back there you know you know take inventory out and all well now I think me and any other, any other average layman you would think that it would make sense to let everything sell down that way so you ain't got to do so damn much work back there to count it all up. You know, you don't have to do as much counting. Management's taken the opposite approach. They always have. But again, this isn't exclusive to Walmart. Every other place I've worked at does this shit. Like, they actually, they up the orders. It's like their whole goal is to pack out the shell, is to pack out the uh, stock room back there, fill up all the bins and all that. All sorts of excess product that we don't need. Well, they're doing the same. They're doing the same thing now. You know, because now we're getting these huge freight loads coming in. You know, and most of it doesn't even doesn't even fit out in the sales floor shelves. A lot of it has to go back. You know, and we gotta find room for it and all that, and it's just more BS that we gotta deal with. So then, as a result of this, I'm, you know, I'm ending my work weeks just, you know, with my back and. You know, basically my whole, pretty much my whole body just being all kinds of fucked up. So. But all I can hope for now is, you know, once this inventory period is over, you know, our freight loads are going to start getting, you know, with some sense of, you know, being ordered with some sense of sanity, you know, so our bodies aren't being all tore up because I'm not the only one going through this. And that's something else, too. You know, really the only time we should be being this hectic 
is during the holidays. Now, granted, I mean, inventory, you know, you still need a... You know, it's still going to be a little bit hectic, but not like, you know, not like Christmas. You know, but no, it's like, it's about as bad as the holidays right now. So, but like I said, I'm not the only person that's, you know, getting hurt and injured and all that. A lot of my other co-workers are going through it as well. So, but uh, I'm going to take a drink of some Arizona green tea here. Hold on. But hell, I mean, it's um, and it's actually spilling over even, even, even to today. I mean, normally. No, wait a minute. I got my days mixed up. I'm thinking it's Sunday right now. No, it's Saturday. Die. No, I was about to say. I'm hoping that. I'm hoping I'll be uh just fine. Um or. I'm hoping I'll be at least mostly recovered uh, tomorrow so I can actually, you know, do a normal pinball stream and all that, but, yeah. But otherwise, uh, for today, though, I, I, just like yesterday, I had to kill, I had to cancel the stream. There just wasn't no way. You know, body being beat up like it is, and plus, uh, and plus, I think, uh, I, after I, uh, after I called off the stream, um, I think I tried getting FX3 going. Um, I think I lasted maybe about five minutes. Like, long enough to maybe play one table. And I I just didn't have the oomph to continue, so I just said, fuck it, killed it. Um, just lazed around some more, and, um, mistake number one. Okay, but yeah, otherwise, as you'd probably expect after a whole, after a work week, yeah, I didn't do a whole lot today. Like I said, um, canceled the stream just because I, my heart just, or I should say, my whole body just wasn't into it. Um, did some, played FX3 for about five minutes, and this is, this is something else that kind of sucks. P FX3 didn't crash. That, that's what I was trying to say. But even then, after after about five minutes in, I just couldn't do it. So I ended up killing that. Just lazed around and fired up Idle Champs to the Forgotten Realms. So, Idle Champs to the rescue! So, I've said this in other cast... Or, I've said this in other cast videos before. But this game is re really carrying me. Or, you know, when, when everything else crashes, Idle Champs still works. Or when I just don't feel like, you know, streaming, you know, or playing any pinball or anything like that, you know, Idle Champs is always going to be there for me. And then, um, and Gems of War, I should say as well, but again, I only play it maybe, well, maybe 15 or so minutes at a time, like once a day, except on, um, Mondays or Tuesdays, I'll play it for about an hour, just doing, because the the PvP reset. So yeah, so kind of kind of a. I think maybe, maybe if I'd have known that uh, none of the games are gonna crash today, I might have tried to stick it up. But again, even then, I probably wouldn't have been on very long. Cause I, like I said, FX3 didn't crash. I voluntarily quit that after like one table. Um, sometime later on that. I, afternoon slash evening I fired up some Capcom fighting collection and went to Vampire Savior um played it for I think I did a I think I did a random select um random select and I got I don't know his name he's basically he's I don't want to say he's the protagonist but he's basically Count Dracula like I said I don't know his name but just 
I got him on random select, so I just training moded him for a bit. Um, tried to do an arcade mode, but I only got maybe, did maybe a couple battles, got my ass kicked on the third. Um, I think I tried to do an online match, but, uh, nobody was on. Um, I think Killer, and I played Killer Instinct a little while later. It's kind of the same thing. Um, I did a, I think I did a couple, I did a training mode, or no, I did a, did a random select, got Shadow Jago, did it, wasn't really into him much though, so, I think I just did a single one-on-one -on -one battle, um, gave up on him, uh, fired up some Glacius, he's, he's basically my main human, um, I don't even know his name, big, huge, massive guy, he, he has a whole bunch of, I don't even know what they're, what they're called, they're bugs of some kind, they follow him around, his win quotes, he sends them all after his defeated opponent, feed, that guy, General Ram, yeah, that's his name, but yeah, it did, you know, so Glacius, General Ram, random select, but like I said, just like all the other games, I think I only played it maybe, maybe about 15 minutes or so, and it just couldn't do it. So, but like I said, otherwise it was just idle champs and a little bit of gems of war here and there. So, um, and uh, one thing I oh one thing that did happen, I think it was, I want to say. Sometime after Wednesday or around Thursday, um, I got offered a, I, I got an email. I got offered a paid sponsorship by some company called HelloFresh. Um, looked them up. They make meal kits. I I don't know why they're calling me up. You know, and it, 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 I think I posted this in my blog too. It, like, you know, I mean. I've never used a meal kit in my life. Why would I wanna? Why would I wanna plug these guys? You know, it, it it'd be very, very dishonest if I did something like this. And in fact, if I could remember to, some time ago, I actually did a video on um on sponsorships. I if I can remember to, I'll post a link to that. But like I said, I got a I got an offer for this. And I'm like, I mean, I've never, I've never done this before. You know, I, you know, if I gotta plug somebody, I'd rather, you know, I'd rather plug a sponsor that has a product that I actually use. Or, I guess, to, to borrow the phrase that everybody uses nowadays, that I believe in. You know, as in, we believe in this player. We believe in this company, you know, that kind of thing. I, you know, I'd rather do that for a product that I actually believe in, and I gotta turn this down. Yeah, it's a bit on the loud side. I'm gonna take another drink. So, wait, I guess, um,. And then there was something else too. I was reading in this email. There, um, I had to follow these steps or for a what was it, a priest dream arrangement or something like that. I'm guessing I have to put like I'd have to put a a Hello Fresh overlay on my stream somewhere. But you know, once again, I've never used a meal kit in my life. So, what the hell am I gonna say? Well, guys. Oh, and I'm here to plug my sponsor. Um, yeah. Uh, HelloFresh, yeah, they make meal kits. Never used one in my life, but they're cutting me a check, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug them. You, you guys realize how dishonest that is? And and I and I see this all and I see this all the time too, in like other YouTube videos. Like, what the fuck are you guys thinking? You know, and I, you know, and I, you know, I get it. You know, you want to make, you know, you want to make a living, you know, creating content. I, I'm right there with you. I mean, hell yeah, I'd love to, you know, I'd love, you know, content creation and streaming to pay all my bills, but, 
you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it the way everybody else is doing it, though. You know, plugging products that they have nothing to do with, or that has absolutely nothing with their, nothing to do with their channel. You know, oh, uh, what, 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 oh, what could be one example? Ah, uh, Raid Shadow Legends. That there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of content creators out there. They uh, they plug this game, Raid Shadow Legends. And, you know, but when I when I'm checking these channels out, they don't strike me as the kind of the kind of gamers that would play this game. You know, fighting game content creators. And the hell would you be playing Raid Shadow playing this game for? Um, there was another uh, the Vile Eye. They, he does a, he has a video series called Analyzing Evil. But then he's also sitting here uh, plugging sponsors of stuff that has absolutely nothing to do with his channel. I think it was like, genealogy.org was like one of them. Um, there was something else in there about some kind of meal planning company. I mean, I mean, this, the channel is about analyzing evil characters. I don't know why an app that helps you prepare your salad for you would would have any relation to this. You know, and I'm pretty sure this isn't a unique issue, too. I've probably seen this kind of thing throughout my whole life, too. You know. But otherwise, otherwise, that's going to do it for me, everybody. Um, I pretty much said all the things that I wanted to say, so I'll just go ahead and call it good. So, but otherwise, hey, thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. Always do. And then I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow. So but until then, what's already working? Anyway, um, thanks again for dropping by. I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.